Hello guys, this is Adip. Welcome to my channel Movement Science where I simplify biomechanics with Joe. In today's video, we are going to talk about the kinetics of the elbow joint and under kinetics, we are going to talk about the extensors. So under extensors, we have our triceps brachii and anconius. And the triceps brachii has three heads. There is a long head, medial and lateral head. So we'll have a look at that and we'll also have a look at the synergistic action of all the muscles around the elbow joint. So without any further ado, let's get started. So as you can see here in the elbow joint complex, we have the extensors and extensors divided into the triceps brachii and anconius and the triceps brachii has medial and lateral head which we will put under one umbrella and then we'll look at the long head in comparison to them. So medial and lateral head is a uniarticular muscle that means it crosses only one joint that is the elbow joint. It crosses at the humerus and it attaches to the ulna right. Whereas the long head of your triceps brachii, it crosses the elbow joint and again attaches to the ulna. All three of them attach at the same spot, right? The olecranon process and proximally it attaches to your, you can see the red one going over here on top to the inferior part of your clinoid fossa. Now, because of this reason, the shoulder position will affect the activity of your long head of your triceps. So that brings us to our next point. The ability to produce torque will reduce with your shoulder extension. Why? Because as you take your shoulder into extension, as the shoulder goes into extension, the triceps will activate and it won't be able to produce good amount of extension at the other joint that is the elbow joint. So it is the active insufficiency, right? When the muscle is already contracted at one joint, it is difficult for the muscle to contract at another joint if it's a two joint muscle. On the other side, if you look at the medial and lateral head, they just cross the elbow joint. They do not cross the shoulder joint. So they are able to produce force more efficiently irrespective of your shoulder position. So let's have a look at the activity of these muscles. So if we look at the activity, the isometric extension torque produced by your medial and lateral head will be around 70 to 90 percent. That means 70 to 90 percent of the extension work will be done by these two heads in comparison to your long head where its isometric torque generation is significantly less. And what about the third brother that is the anconius? Anconius generates around 15 percent because even anconius is a single joint muscle. I won't be talking about the exact attachment and origin of the muscles because that will just elongate the video too much. I want to keep it short and simple and focus more towards the biomechanics of it. So those are the muscles. If you want to have a look, this is the lateral head. This is the long head, red one and medial head. You can see small one over here with another different angle. You'll be able to see it better, but that is the medial head on the medial side. So this is the distribution of force production. Okay. So as we are speaking about the anconius, another thing anconius does is apart from creating that extension at the elbow joint, it also acts as a stabilizer in supination and pronation. Now again, all these functions that I'm mentioning, some of them may not have the best evidence, but that's what we have for now. What the action the muscle must be doing in certain positions of your joints. Going to the final point, which ties everything together is the triceps produces the most amount of force in your 90 degrees. That is the maximum isometric torque generated is at 90 degree. But again, this will vary with your shoulder position because as the shoulder keeps moving into different ranges, the long head won't be able to participate as much, right? As it starts going into more and more extension, the long head won't be able to dominate that movement, won't be able to produce that much force as it is in the shortened position. In comparison to as the shoulder starts going into flexion, the long head will go into more and more stretched position, which will allow it to produce more and more force like an elastic band because it is getting stretched and there is more force that it can generate. So these are the main points that we need to know under your extensors of the elbow joint. Now let's have a look at how extensors and flexors around the elbow joint work in a synergistic manner and what are the factors that affect the working of these muscles. So the topic starts with your muscle activation pattern that is seen 
around the elbow joint especially the synergistic activity of elbow flexors and extensors so we'll come to the synergistic activity a little bit later first we'll have a look at the factors that affect the activation patterns right so these are something that we have already discussed but we'll just revisit these topics so first is the number of joints crossed as you saw triceps brachii the long head and also even your long head of biceps brachii they were crossing the shoulder joint right that's why they were not able to produce as much force when they were in a shortened position we also saw the type of muscle activation in biceps especially and brachioradialis they were able to produce better force in certain types of muscle contractions like concentric eccentric isometric and isokinetic most of the single joint muscles they were able to be consistent throughout and your central nervous system that is your brain was also preferring the single joint muscles both in triceps as well as biceps right if you haven't checked out the video previous video even there and even in this video we can see that the single joint muscles are more active in the movement of your elbow compared to your double joint muscles or bi articular joint muscles next is the speed of motion again we saw this in the flexors how certain muscles were more active with fast contraction compared to slow for biceps it was the isokinetic that is iso is same kinetic is speed the biceps was working really well resistance as you keep increasing the resistance more and more muscles will start getting activated and will contribute in the movement then the direction of the stresses so this we will encounter over here when there is valgus varus forces these forces on the elbow joint needs to be stabilized and often this is stabilized through co contraction that is basically biceps and triceps both work together to stabilize the joint and also the activity of other muscles that we are going to look over here now so the synergistic activity meaning the flexors and extensors both of them work together right so for example from 0 to 45 degrees your brachialis and the long head of triceps brachii okay these two muscles if you have watched the previous video you'll remember brachialis and long head we just spoke about both of them work synergistically in creating that isometric co contraction and providing stability to elbow joint in this range that is 0 to 45 degree right brachialis and long head of biceps brachii sometimes even your brachioradialis right these muscles are also sometimes joined by your your brachioradialis to provide stability against your varus valgus flexion and extension movement so that's what i had mentioned over here the direction of the stresses so these stresses are also managed by this co contraction of all the muscles around the elbow joint and the final point in the synergistic activity which i feel is the best example to understand how synergistic activity actually works is basically your biceps and your triceps working together so you can see over here in a non loaded position okay say your elbow is at 90 degree of flexion and then what happens if you want to create supination okay so what is this this is the supination correct so when your elbow is in 90 degree and you want to create that supination this is done by your biceps right you so you can see the biceps is getting activated so as the biceps creates supination you still want to hold that 90 degree position instead of biceps creating that flexion and supination you just want that supination movement what will how will this happen this will happen through co contraction or reciprocal activity you can say of the triceps so triceps holds the elbow joint into extension and then biceps activates but biceps function is what flexion as well as supination right but the flexion is blocked by your triceps and we get a pure supination so this is how synergistically like with a team work your biceps and triceps can work together to create a pure supination movement so that's what i have mentioned over here you can see the triceps through reciprocal activity allows your biceps in creating pure supination without extra flexion happening at the elbow joint so that's all we have for this video now let's quickly summarize this topic so first under elbow extensors we saw triceps brachii which had medial lateral head and a long head the long head was bi articular it was crossing two joint that's why it was not preferred muscle to create extension at the elbow joint and it had very significantly less torque 
generation power at the elbow joint in comparison to your medial and lateral head and this happened more so when the triceps was in the shortened position that is in a extension position at the shoulder joint then we saw anconius which also created extension and some amount of stability in supination pronation at the elbow joint then we move to the co-contraction of all the muscles around the elbow joint in this synergistic activity we saw how all the muscles around the elbow joint can provide stability and fight against the varus valgus and other stresses on the elbow joint as well as we also saw how biceps and triceps can work together to create a pure supination movement at the elbow joint and all these muscle activities were affected by all the factors that i have mentioned over here so with that we finish off this topic in next video we will move on to the radio ulna joint so stay tuned for that and thank you for watching